Good morning, everybody. Um, today's video, I kind of want to do just a like chit chat sort of life update kind of video. Um, I'm actually going to do some laundry here real quick because I don't have time for anything anymore, to be totally honest with you. So I'm just going to make some room on my coffee table to fold some laundry while I talk to you guys. But I kind of just wanted to do... Um, it hasn't quite been a week. By the time this video gets up, it would have been over a week that we've had Hunter here. Um, but at the moment, it's like, I was today, Monday, and he was born on Wednesday, so just about a week, five days. Um, so I just kind of wanted to, like, talk about bringing him home, what it's been like, um, you know, how's my lifestyle changed very much since having a newborn, um, just talking about whatever. Um, I will say that I haven't really gotten much sleep. That's one major thing that's to be expected with a newborn is just to be kind of sleep deprived for a while. Um, I know it's going to get like a little easier. The thing is like newborns are so hard sometimes because, well, they only want a handful of things. So, whenever Hunter is being really, really, really fussy, like, I kind of go through a list in my head and I say, like, okay, first change him, then feed him, then sw um, swaddle him, then rock him. Uh, like, you kind of just go through a list, uh, like a checklist. And nine times out of ten, it's going to end up working out for you. Um, sometimes it's a little harder to figure out, like, if he's gassy. You might just have to burp him some more. Or something that we figured out is that he eats more than what I was making him. So he would like go through the whole bottle that I made, not like a big bottle, like two ounces, and then still be super fussy. And in my mind, I'm like, well, you just ate. So, you know, the whole two ounces thing is kind of an average. So he usually eats closer to like three ounces. Um, but I make four and then I refrigerate the rest just in case. So, you know, the first week has been a lot of that, just kind of trial and error. Um, so I found that he sleeps a lot during the day and he'll wake up. I mean, he still wakes up like two to probably closer to three to four hours to be changed and to eat. Um, and then sometimes he'll keep his eyes open for a while but then he'll fall back asleep. For some reason at night, he he gives me like a good stretch of time. Like he'll give me like a good four to five hours of uninterrupted sleep, which can be unheard of. I, I know with Ella, it was unheard of. Then he'll have these periods of like two hours in the middle of the night where he's like wide awake tonight. Today, it happened to be between like 3 and 5 a.m. And today was the first day that Ella went back to school having a brother. So luckily, you know, TJ's been home. He's going to be home all week until Friday. I'm scared about when he goes back to work, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, I stayed up with him all night last night. But when it was time to get Ella ready, I was already up like around 6.15 because he pooped all over our bed and I had to strip our sheets. <laughs> Ella's in my routine was pretty normal this morning um, because TJ stayed upstairs with him. Um, so we're still like trying to figure out what he's most comfortable sleeping in. Um, I think last night or like early this morning is the first time that we tried the crib because I've been trying to co-sleep with him because for some reason the bassinet insert that I ordered off Amazon is taking like two months to get to me. So I'm not comfortable with like putting him in the big crib where he can just kind of like go anywhere. I don't know. He'll probably be safe, but it's just in my mind, like I feel more comfortable having the bassinet part. Um, so I haven't put him in the crib, so I've had my look, like, boppy that, if you don't know what boppy is, is that, like, horseshoe-shaped pillow. Um, I've been using that a lot at night to help me just support him, um, through feeding, or, like, I'll just support him like this, sleep, and put a pillow behind my back, <laughs> and sleep like that. 
So on top of being sleep deprived, I'm also very um, sore. My whole body kind of hurts. Um, but it's been great. We visited my parents and my brothers yesterday with him. And my grandmother got, got to see him again. So you know that you know, everybody wants to hold the new baby. So that gave me a break to actually have dinner and stuff. Um, so it's it, it's kind of hard to tell what kind of routine we're going to have at the moment because, t again, TJ is home. So I'm trying to keep in mind that I'm not going to have his help the way that I do right now. So I'm trying to prepare myself. So the past couple of days have been a lot of kind of rearranging where I want certain things. Like I wanted diapers upstairs. I wanted diapers down here. Like trying to figure out kind of where to organize his needs list um so I have like the there's a basket right underneath my coffee table full of diaper rash cream wipes um diapers same thing <laughs> upstairs um but it's just been a lot of like I, I don't think I've stopped doing laundry since I've been home um I went out and I bought some more burp cloths because I was so tired of running out of burp cloths so I Picked up another pack of those. Um, unfortunately, I think I got receiving blankets and not burp cloths. So I am going to take a very sharp pair of scissors today and cut them into like squares. Like more more this size than the size that they are. Um, so that was my mistake. But I, I needed more burp cloths. Um, I can't really tell if he's a pacifier baby or not. We've, I've tried the pacifier a couple times. Um, again, there were periods of time during the night where like he would just be up and he would just be fussing. So I was trying the pacifier, like I was trying everything. I was going through my checklist and the pacifier was the last thing that I would try when like I just felt like not giving up, but I like kind of felt hopeless. <laughs> he like kind of takes them, but then kind of doesn't. And the thing is like with my daughter, she never use pacifiers and she was fine um so i don't want to force it on him if he doesn't like necessarily find it extremely comforting or anything because then that's just going to avoid the weaning off the pacifiers in the future anyway so if i can just kind of avoid it then i want to um we had our first bath at home the other day that was a nightmare <laughs> It was difficult to find a where I wanted to bathe him. I ended up bathing him in my bathroom sink because it's a little small, like my kitchen sink. It's a two-part sink, but they're deep, but they're not very wide. So I'm trying to figure out, is it easier to bathe him in the sink? Which sink it's easier to bathe him in? Or is it just easier to fill up the tub? As well as trying to figure out, like, temperature of the water. Um, I think... I could have made, I, I was afraid of making it too hot, but I felt like it was warm when I made his bath yesterday, but maybe it wasn't warm enough, and he was just, I mean, he was screaming his head off getting a bath in the hospital anyway, so I already know that, like, he's just not a fan of baths, but, like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, is it warm enough, is it cold enough, or, like, is it too cold, it just, you know, it's all, it's been just trial and error, um, so I think the real test will be next week when it's just me and the baby and Ella and <laughs> I have to figure out what the heck to do without losing my mind. Um, Ella's been a big help though. Um, every opportunity that she gets to help, she will go fetch me his bottle. She'll like ask him, does he want to eat? Like she's held him a couple times too. So she's definitely getting more comfortable with him. She was nervous when he was first born and then that's normal. I get nervous around <laughs> newborns. I never really like to hold them. So it's, you know, it's a new experience for her. And then on top of it, she loses a tooth. Like <laughs> she, she loses her first tooth. I'm like, I bring a baby home and then my first baby is growing up. It's just, so that was super exciting though. I think that happened. Did that happen the first night that I was home? I think it could have. Um, but today was the first, I think she lost a Saturday and today, again, she's going to school. So I told her, I said, you gonna tell all your friends about losing your tooth? It's the bottom one. <laughs> so Tooth Fairy came, which is very cool and left her some money for her piggy bank. So she was all excited. Um, but it's just like, it's crazy. I feel, 
I don't know. It's just I'm turning 27 this year. Oh my gosh. I still have, I don't even know if you can see it from here, but I still have yet to take this off because I'm, I'm so icky with IVs and that's where my IV thing was. Um, I've done like zero maintenance on myself as well. Like when it comes to like self tanning, I'm completely, it's pretty much gone. I mean, there's definitely patches, but, um, the past week has just been like, I haven't really cared about my own appearance kind of thing just because I've been so like preoccupied um, and I think that's how it is for most new new mothers all right n mothers to newborns I suppose but um, you know I, I expect this week to kind of get back on track of getting ready and that's why I'm filming today because I'm like oh my gosh I have to film a review pretty soon probably this week actually so at some point I'm gonna have to get ready for that and I just I don't know, this is kind of my outlet to like have a few minutes just to talk to you guys um, and be totally honest about like how I'm feeling. <laughs> you know, I feel amazing. He's such a little nugget. He is a really good boy. He's not like constantly crying or anything. It's literally the hardest part has been that stretch of time in the middle of the night that like just nothing seems to satisfy him. Um, so once we get past that, things will get a little easier. And today, actually, we're going to be going to Ella's school because she has the Scholastic Book Fair. And I don't know if that's, like, all across America or if, like, even if that's, like, a global thing. I, I can't I don't know. I, it's not global, but I wonder if other countries would have this where, like, this little book fair comes to your children's school and then you you can buy books to bring home. I used to love the Scholastic Book Fair when I was in school because I was such a big reader. And I always stress the importance of reading to my daughter. So we read every night before her nap, uh, before bedtime. But um, I gave her like a little fund. So TJ, Hunter, and I are going to go to the school and kind of just like monitor her spending her money, like help her find books and stuff. So I'm very much looking forward to that and I almost got ready this morning because of it, but I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I would rather not get ready and be able to get this laundry put away. <laughs> so it's been, you know, it's it's been tough, but life doesn't stop. We actually went to a, um, the middle school was having um, like a kids carnival kind of thing. It was cute. Um, but they had like, you know, uh, the balloon animals, the face painting, like sand art, beading, like every table kind of had an activity. They have raffles. Um, so we took both of them to that. But to be honest, like at this very moment that I'm filming, I haven't vlogged since coming home that day from the hospital because, again, I've just been so like just trying to get myself put together before I start vlogging anything. So, um, you know, it's just, it's been all about that. But I told TJ, I said, just because you're here like all this week and we're here together with the baby, I said, take advantage of this time and like go work on the restroom. Like you don't, the, the bathroom we're working on upstairs. I said, you don't have to like, oh, I gotta iron some of these things. I said, you don't have to like hang around. I said, he's gonna be sleeping anyway, so. I know at some point he's going to be going upstairs to work, um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's it's been really great. I haven't had any visitors over um, the other day when we had to, we had to go out and I had to get more, that's the day that I got more burp claws and um, I ended up buying a different pack and play and stuff. Um, but my aunt, we're going to go visit my aunt because the store that we're heading to is closer to her house anyways. And my cousins are over there, so it was kind of like see everybody at once. Um, but after the store, Hunter was like screaming, crying in the car. So I pulled over and I got out and like made him a bottle and like fed him in the front seat of my car. But at that point, like that was one of my worst days because I was so sleep deprived it was like I think I that day that night like leading into that day was one of the worst nights because it was like the first night that he was up and he was so fussy and I like didn't know what to do I ended up waking TJ up crying <laughs> like at like four, what no he woke up at midnight that night and it was like 2 15 I went into my room crying 
And I'm like, can you please help me? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do. So TJ took over for me that night and let me get a little bit more sleep upstairs. So I had already been just so stressed out. So I texted my aunt and I'm like, I really, like we're already almost there. I said, but I need to turn around. I said, I am so stressed out. I'm said I'm so tired. Like I don't really want to have company right this second. Um, so she understood, but we haven't seen them um, we're also, I believe, going to stop at TJ's dad's at some point this week, too. So, we've, we've just been t trying to take it easy. I know everybody wants to see newborns, and they're super-duper cute, and it doesn't last very long. I totally get it. Like, trust me, I'm going to close my eyes tomorrow, and my nugget's going to wake up one year old. Um, so, it, I, I, get, I get that, like, everybody is, like, really excited to see them, but everybody has also been really respectful of our space, nobody's like like try to force like coming to see him or anything so um but overall I just I forgot how hard having a newborn is and the worst part about that is like I think that the newborn is probably the easiest stage in having a child too not everyone will agree with me but I think all, again, all he really does is eat, sleep, cry, and poop, <laughs> you know? He's not crawling anywhere. He's not getting into things. He's not putting stuff in his mouth. He's not arguing with his sister. He's, you know, like it, every age that your child turns, you'll find that you, you'll have new m things to deal with. Like, I just remember with Ella, I'm like, okay, we're past two. Now we're on to three. What new things are you going to start doing? And so... You know, every stage at the time might feel like you're like, oh my god, this is so difficult. But then you move on to the next stage and you're like, you know what? That last one wasn't so bad. So as stressful as I, as stressed as I am and ha as little sleep as I'm getting, I know this time being like my second time around to really, really, really cherish those moments because it goes so fast, like so incredibly fast. Um, so I know it's not easy, but pretty soon my little newborn is not going to be a newborn. You know what I mean? Give it a couple of months and it's going to be like, what happened? You know, especially the first year, they change so much. So, I, you know, I've just been trying to take everything lightly. <laughs> trying not, I'm trying not to get, like, I'm trying not to get too frazzled again because this is just... A stage and it won't last forever so I'm just trying to come up with the most comfortable routine for myself and my family and then and just enjoy it because he's not gonna be this little forever so today I am obviously putting away laundry I'm just gonna hang out um, probably edit this video we'll go to Ella's school and then I have to make a few phone calls I have to call his pediatrician um, they're probably going to want to see him this week for a checkup. Um, I need to go um, go get his birth certificate as well. So today is just kind of like a lot of phone calls kind of day. Uh, one more thing, I also ran by TJ because this is all new to Ella and I don't want her to ever feel like she's not getting the attention that she was, which in reality she's not because... I'm so preoccupied with a new baby that like I literally like she'll want a color and I'm like okay hold on like as soon as I'm done feeding him you know and I never want her to feel like I'm ever pushing her off so I ran the idea by TJ yesterday that I said once a week I said we can switch off like if you want to take her one week I'll take her the next week but I said once a week I want to have like a little date with her and I said it could be as simple as going to the dollar store and letting her pick out a toy or you can take her to the movies or you could could take her out to dip like whatever you want to do with her I want once a week one of us to stay home with Hunter and the other one to go do that with Ella because I want her to still feel I don't know why I'm getting emotional it's probably just because I'm so tired <laughs> but I don't want her to feel like she's ever being pushed off or forgotten about you know I want her to feel just as special because her and I did everything together it's been just the three of us for five years now you know it's a big adjustment but 
she really has been really, really, really good with him, and I'm so grateful for that. She is such a loving big sister, so um, I got really lucky. Oh, I got really lucky in that sense, too, so... Anyways, I am done putting away this, uh, I'm done folding this laundry, so I'm going to go put it away. I'm going to go edit this video as well. Um, there are a couple of videos that I pre-recorded before Hunter was here because I knew that I would kind of want to take it easy when he got here. So, um, you know, there'll be some hospital videos you guys seen coming out and, um, but then there is like, you know, some makeup tutorials for Valentine's or like Valentine's Day. Um, videos that were pre-recorded that will be coming out so hopefully you know I'll throw them in between one another and stuff but I hope you guys uh, enjoy I'm like I can't think straight <laughs> I'm like what am I trying to bring up here I don't I don't even know anymore <laughs> all right guys that will be it for now thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please go ahead and leave a thumbs up while you're down there hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>